Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Grand Theft Auto 5 running on Intel Iris Pro 6200 graphics. Uh, this is a i7-5775C in a system provided us on loan by Chillblast. And first of all, I want to point out, as we can see here, there are still some of the graphical corruption issues we saw on HD 5500 with um, characters and some other things becoming sort of transparent in places. This doesn't appear on Haswell based cards but I've noticed it on Broadwell based graphic solutions. Um, moving on to the benchmark itself and we're running 1366 by 768 and the lowest detail settings and to be honest as with HD 5500 the performance isn't really stellar. Um, this compared to the Iris Pro 5200 test we ran is actually um, a 65 watt part versus a 47 watt part and really the performance hasn't improved. Um, HD 5500 has a similar issue where it's actually a little slower than HD 4400 in my testing. So Intel clearly with the graphical issues and the performance here have some way to go on just improving the drivers for Broadwell with Grand Theft Auto. Um, that's a bit of a shame, but overall, if you can live with that uh, corruption, um, you can play the game. The frame rates average, I believe, around 50, 55 frames per second, so it is a little better than I saw on Iris Pro 5200. But if you're playing on a laptop chip, you may expect that to fall sort of into the 40s, as you've got less of a power budget to play with. I hope you found this video useful and be sure to check out my channel and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Um, we've got a lot of other tests with Grand Theft Auto linked below and other game titles as we go through the week while we've got the system on loan. Thanks for watching.